next. The a Toyota dealer by April 5th. And that's... This man's playing games for a living. Tonight on Evening, we meet Howard Phillips. His job with Nintendo has him playing video games eight hours a day. If you're a kid, then you already know these games are the hottest selling toys in America. Howdy, Brian. Oh, there you go. so close. How's that? <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Evening from the Nintendo Entertainment Center in Bell Square. I'm Penny Legate. And I'm Brian Trace, and I'm having a ball here. We've got to talk about this story here. I, you know, I'll tell you, video really has come a long way since the days of Pong. Did you ever play oh, Pong? Oh, did I ever? But it was pretty simple. I mean, it was just a little ball that kind of bounced back and forth. I know, but that's why it caught on. And I'll, actually, the industry grew. The home video industry grew to over three billion dollars like overnight but it went away just as fast as it came because of too much competition and the quality of the games really went down well, all along a company called nintendo was watching all this and waiting for the right moment to get into the home video game business what well, happened in 1985 and tonight our own enrique cerna is going to visit their national headquarters right over here in redmond and we're going to meet a man by the name of howard phillips who played a big part in the comeback of the home video game business they were down for the count but home video games are back move over barbie and gi joe last year the nintendo entertainment system became america's hottest selling toy video game fever is sweeping the nation and nintendo is reaping the profits Good morning nintendo's success can be attributed to the popularity of their games and the man in charge of picking those video hits is 30 year old howard phillips Terry, can you hold on my calls, please? Thanks. His official job title is Product Analysis Manager, which is really just a fancy way of saying that Howard plays games for a living. I do have to keep fluent and literate in all the different games that are available, and the only way to do that is spend the hours. So on some days, I'll play games all day, eight hours or more. <laughs> day in and day out, month after month, Howard plays on, painstakingly evaluating hundreds of games, looking for that undefinable quality that makes a hit. If Howard's job sounds like kid stuff, well, his company sees it differently. Last year, the home video game industry topped $1 billion in sales, and it's expected to double by year's end. So Howard's ability to weed out the winners and losers translates into millions of dollars. Even so, he sometimes has a hard time being taken seriously. <laughs> um, my friends, I think, understand. The hard one to convince is, is my wife and my parents. I think they still think that, you know, one of these days he's going to get a regular job, a real job. Um, but I do have a real job. It's very serious business, and uh, I'm trying to do it very well. Howard has done his job so well that players will do almost anything to learn the secrets of winning at their favorite games. Part of that quest for knowledge is satisfied by joining Nintendo's Fun Club, which is about a million members strong and growing. Howard is both president of the club and editor of the bi-monthly Fun Club News, a magazine that offers hints and tips on how to win at the various games. But even this wasn't enough to satisfy the consumer's insatiable desire to win. So the company started the Nintendo Hotline. At the end of Aruga, you're going to come to this thing. It looks like a, a turtle. Okay, and you have to push on it for like a couple of seconds. And uh, all of a sudden, he'll like go through the wall. You need to get the diving suit, then go on the backstage. You use the glasses just like you use your fist or the hammer. Oh, so you found okay, it. You, you got up to the monster, but you can't kill him. Well, that's one of the problems with the second quest is that you can't. We have uh, right around 33 game counselors now who do nothing but answer phone call um, from the kids on which which games are good and how to play the different games and what tips they need to get past Super Macho Man and Punch Out or to find the Red Ring in the Legend of Zelda. We get over 15,000 phone calls a week currently. Even with all this consumer feedback, Howard feels it's important to take his research a step further, out of his office and into the neighborhood arcade.
watching is probably the best method of finding out um, what's what's at work with a kid. You can tell if they're getting very involved with a particular game, if, they're, if their concentration of high, is high, their excitement level is high. If you see lots of frustration on their face or disappointment on their face, you know that you've got a possible problem. Howard's observations in the arcades help him spot future trends in video games. But what's the latest that's available to consumers today? Okay, let me show you this one. It's one of our newest games. I'm sure you'll recognize it. That's right. America's favorite game show is coming to your home video system. Sorry, no Pat Sajak in this version, but good news. There is a video Vanna. And be on the lookout for Jeopardy and other popular game shows. Before long, Howard will have the whole family playing video games. There's so much going on in this industry, and it's so alive, that there's just it's wide open for me to do as much as I can, and I love that. Peanut uppercut. Okay, you knocked him out. Good job. So parents, next time you think your children are spending too much time playing video games, think of Howard Phillips. They may be gaining valuable experience for a future career. Yeah! Now, if you're sitting at home worrying about your kids sitting in front of the video screen all day and not getting any exercise, well, guess what? There's a solution to that problem. There's a relatively new game out that has a mat that you stand on, and the mat is plugged into the control panel, so any movement that you make on the mat, <laughs> the little people on the screen make the same movement. Kind of like a video version of Twister? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. This is Bo Jackson.